Okay guys, Adobe really dropped a gigantic bomb this week. We recently posted a video about the Adobe Firefly beta, which already has incredible abilities. But what they've come up with now is absolutely insane. It's called Generative Fill for Photoshop, and it'll blow your mind. Want to find out more about it? Then keep watching till the end of the video. Since Firefly was released as a beta only a little while ago, we didn't expect Adobe to release it to the public so soon. This unexpected release left everyone dumbfounded. And let me tell you, the results it has been producing are nothing short of mind-boggling. They've got people scratching their heads, shaking their screens, and questioning reality itself. So what is Generative Fill, and what can it do? Well, it takes text prompt and transforms it into visual wizardry. Say goodbye to hours spent scouring stock image libraries and meticulously blending different elements together. Firefly's generative fill takes the reins, seamlessly combining images with the power of AI, creating jaw-dropping compositions. Firefly isn't content with just merging images like a novice Photoshop apprentice. No, it goes above and beyond, adding a touch of finesse that will leave you wondering if you've stumbled upon a digital sorcerer's workshop. It can tweak backgrounds, change landscapes, and even conjure reflections. Just imagine taking a simple image of a frozen lake and using the generative AI fill to add mesmerizing reflections, making it look like a scene straight out of a fantasy novel. It's like having a team of digital assistants working tirelessly to make your creations shine. Firefly is even capable of creating nature's most breathtaking spectacle, the Aurora Borealis. Here's an example of that. With Firefly's generative fill, you can create the Northern Lights, infusing your creation with a celestial magic that defies the boundaries of reality. Adobe showed several examples in their tutorial, and I want to show one of them to you. But before we get into that, we just want to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button because the AI that controls the YouTube algorithm needs that to boost our video. So let's have a look at Adobe's example. Here's an original image of a salt flat. In the contextual taskbar, you have easy access to a variety of tools, including the new generative fill functionality. A selection has been made, and now it's time to use generative fill. In this case, the input is classic car from the 50s. It now gives examples of generated cars, and there are several variations to choose from. Now that the car is placed into the photograph, it's time to show another incredible feature. A selection is made in front of the car using the lasso tool. In generative fill, reflection pool filled with blue water is filled in, and voila! How amazing is that? You can even choose some variations on the right side. To make the picture more dynamic, a cloud is added to it. Again, a selection is made on the side of the picture to add a cloud. Let's see what happens here. There we go. There's one more step that is really going to blow your mind. The canvas is expanded using the crop tool to make a panorama. The original image is selected. Then invert selection is used to select the empty parts of the canvas. Once again, the generative fill functionality is used. This time, instead of typing in a prompt, the generate button is clicked. Look at this insane result. So this was a quick look at Adobe's new integration of Firefly into Photoshop. We think this really is a game changer. What are your thoughts about this awesome new integration? Let us know in the comments. Can't get enough of AI? Here are some awesome videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the world of AI. Thanks for watching.